Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode of Scrap Mechanic FPS, we're going to be taking a step back from projectile weapons and using something a little more close and personal. So as you can see behind me, we do have a chainsaw and a big axe. Now, of course, these aren't necessarily meant for getting rid of zombies. So before we deal with those, we're going to actually be doing some lumberjack work with the chainsaw and the axe. We're going to be chopping some trees down. It's going to be loads of fun, guys. Now, before we start, I want you guys to take a look at that zombie right there on the right. I've gotten some comments saying that the zombie isn't right for the Scrap Mechanic FPS series, so I wanted to throw it to all of you in the community to see if you guys wanted to try and build a zombie. Now guys, if you do want to participate in the zombie submission for Scrap Mechanic FPS, there's a couple things that you have to be aware of. So the first thing being that the zombie has to be built entirely out of the destructible parts mod. It's very important that no matter what we do to the zombie, whether it's shoot spuds at it or hit it with our hammer, or even use explosives, the zombie is going to get destroyed no matter what. And the second thing to consider is the size of the zombie relative to our FPS rig. So we're in it right now with our lumberjack axe, and look at this, as we step closer and closer to the zombie, oh my goodness, look, this thing gets puny. Look at, look at this tiny little zombie. So guys, I'm going to be using this zombie in this video, but I'm really looking forward to seeing if you guys do want to submit your zombies to me. So of course guys, if you do want to submit your zombie to me, then just send it to my email. There's going to be a link down in the... Oh, I don't even know what's happening right now. But there's going to be a link down in the description, guys, to my email, so you can send me your zombies, and that way we're going to just have a better experience. So if you do want to participate in the zombie submission, then I would love to hear from you down in the comments. Let me know if you actually do, because if nobody really wants to make any zombies for me, then of course I'm going to go ahead and make my own custom zombies that are obviously going to be much better than that one there. Now with all that out of the way, guys, it's time to check out the chainsaw and axe. Alright, so here we are in the FPS rig with our axe. Now guys, we're not going to be fighting any zombies just yet because I want to chop a few trees down. Now I'm going to use this opportunity as well to talk about some ideas that I have with regards to the FPS handheld melee weapons and stuff like that. So here we go, we got this really cool axe though. Now there's a couple things that you can do with it. You can press 6 and look at that, you can turn it on its side. So I'm imagining, you know, like we had our hands and we could turn it to the side. Now I know some people want to see hands on some of these weapons and stuff like that, but I really feel like there's nothing that I could do that would make it look like an actually good hand. But here we can also press 7 and we'll hold it down like that. Now you can use that so that you can chop downward at things just like so. And you can also use it when you're turning it to the side like so. You press it like that, and there you go. And now you also have the ability to swing from side to side. So here we go, guys. We've got this axe. Let's try and chop one of these trees down right here. I, I had a little practice run, and it's actually quite difficult to do. So here we go. Oh, see, I just I just missed. That's, that's quite embarrassing. All right, here we go. All right, that was a really good swing. Let's try another one. Oh, perfect. But like I mentioned, I want to talk about some future ideas here, guys. So the uh, the Scrap Mechanic FPS rig can be used for a lot of different things. Now, of course, we have all sorts of projectile weapons and guns and stuff like that. And now I'm just getting into some of the handheld... Okay, this is... I'm not going to try and keep going for that little spot there. But like I was saying, there's all sorts of possibilities with regards to these handheld things. Now, one of my ideas is actually going to be a sword and shield combat simulator thing and uh, I don't know if you guys have any suggestions for other handheld melee weapons and stuff like that then let me know down in the comments because honestly there are just so many different possibilities now I'm almost through this tree it's really not easy guys it might look easy but all right we've got one little block left let's just try and I'm just gonna grind it off there we go all right perfect timber is it falling Okay, I really expected this tree to fall over. Alright, I guess we're just gonna have to give it a nudge. Timber. Whoop, timber again. Okay, there we go. We hit it. It's still not falling over. Okay, this is very anticlimactic. Oh, there we go. I, okay, I'm not even gonna say it this time. Alright, so now we've got this tree chopped. It's fallen over and everything. Now, what we can do, though, is... Let's see here. We're gonna press 7. We're gonna press 6. And there we go. Now we have our axe in a position where we can kind of chop this tree down into smaller pieces. So let's see, I don't even know... Okay, there we go. I can't quite see what I'm doing. I find it kind of difficult to actually stay in one spot. You're kind of always bouncing around a little bit, but here we go. 
chopping the whole tree. I am really not good at this, guys. All right, here we go. I have a good technique. It's just drive backwards and then drive straight forward again. And it actually works really well for this lumberjack thing. So here we go. We've got just a few more little pieces right there. Let's try and just chop them down one little bit more. Grind it in. There we go. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so we've got this piece broken. Now, this is kind of what I was talking about before. Now, this is kind of where you would want to hold the axe down on a lower position like this. And like so, we should be able to just kind of chop away at it. I think. Oh, I missed. There we go. We've got just a few more pieces to break through. Here we go. Okay, you know what, guys? Clearly, this is not doing the trick. This is, this is probably one of the worst ways you would ever want to chop a tree down. And honestly, anybody that uses an axe to try and chop a tree is they're really, they're really not doing it the most efficient way. But of course, we've got a chainsaw for that. All right, here we go, guys. Now it is time for some serious lumberjack business. We've got the chainsaw here. Now, this thing is actually awesome with all the mods and stuff like that. Of course, these are using the sharp stuff mod, but look, take a look at this, guys. We can actually kind of rev this up. Here we go. Pull the cord like so, and there we go. All right, the chainsaw is now started. So as you can see, we've got these saw blades spinning and it's gonna be a lot easier than using an axe. And now, much like the axe though, we can press six, and look at that guys, we can turn the chainsaw on its side. So of course we have the side to side action, and if we turn it over this way, we have our chopping thing, and I also have a button to press, right like so, that brings the entire thing up and down again. So basically it's kinda like a chopping motion, and that's so that you can have a nice, slower, consistent thing, rather than just trying to look up and down, because this is nothing like an axe. All right, so let's make our way over to some of these trees right here. Now, you saw with the axe, we had a hard time, but let's see how we do it with the chainsaw. All right, here we go. Chainsaw right through. Oh, and perfect, look at that. So easy. It took no effort whatsoever, but all right, here we go. We can turn the chainsaw back on its side, and now we're gonna make quick work of all of this lumber, guys. Take a look at this. We're gonna chop the tree down, just like so. All right, so I've got a couple more trees here that we can chop down, so let's kind of turn the chainsaw on its side. Wow, okay, this is extremely satisfying. D to be able to do this in first person, guys, is the coolest thing ever. All right, here we go, guys. We've got one final tree, and then we're gonna have to try and fend off the zombie apocalypse. Here we go. One nice, smooth pass right through, like so. There we go. And timber. Okay, guys. I gotta, we gotta work on this tree falling stuff in Scrap Mechanic. Now, I wonder if we can actually chop this in half before it even falls to the ground. Oh, yeah, look, it's working quite good, actually. And right like so. There we go. Whoa, the whole thing pushed the chainsaw down. So yeah, as you guys can see, this thing is very efficient at chopping trees down in Scrap Mechanic. This feels like you're actually using a chainsaw. Now, the trees are kind of fun and all that, but let's see how it takes on some zombies. Alright guys, the zombie apocalypse is before us. We've got to get rid of them as quick as we can. Now look at this though. This is really satisfying. You can drag the chainsaw along the ground, and this is clearly to assert our dominance and show those zombies who's boss. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this kind of thing would bring fear to me. Now, here we go. Let's take these zombies out. You know what? I'm actually going to turn it on its side here. Let's start like this. All right, zombie number one. There we go. Cut it in half. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. We don't even have to really do anything. You just have to swing around recklessly. Oh, my God. These zombies don't even know what's coming. All right, let's actually try and... Okay, whoops. Okay, I didn't even mean to hit that zombie. Let's try and use it this way, though. Oh, my God, I just chopped that one in half that way. And now we're going to try and do one with the actual chopping mechanism. Here we go. Chop it right down like so. Let's turn around. Let's get this one as well. Lift it up. Put it down. Oh, my... Whoa. Okay, guys. I got to admit, I'm really excited for new zombies because these ones are tiny. They're not that exciting, and I think there is clearly a lot of room for improvement. But look at this, guys. We got Cowboy Zombie, though. I mean, okay, I'm really happy with Cowboy Zombie, but nonetheless, I'm sorry, Cowboy Zombie, but it's your time. There we go. <laughs> Chop it in half. And it looks like we've got two more zombies. Here we go. Ugh. Get rid of this one. Oh, perfect. Chop him up just like so and get up to this one. Oh, wow. Jeez. All right, look at this, guys. There are zombie parts everywhere. I can imagine that this one right here, his head is still intact, so we have like cowboy zombie crawling around 
with no legs. And honestly guys, I'm kind of inclined to think that uh, this chainsaw might be better than any gun I've made. So there you have it guys, that is the new chainsaw and axe in Scrap Mechanic FPS, the first two melee weapons. Now guys, like I said, if you have any ideas for more, then put them down in the comments below. And if you've missed any of the Scrap Mechanic FPS series guys, we have all sorts of really amazing weapons in the arsenal. Now I'm gonna leave a link in the description as well as up in the corner there if you wanna see the rest of the series and all of these awesome builds. So if you did enjoy the build or the video, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if you wanna tune in for some more Endless Scrap Mechanic, then consider subscribing to the channel and maybe even turning on some notifications so you get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one. So bye for now.